Hello, and welcome to my new guide for Hellion version 0.2.0. So today I'll be showing you guys how to get started. So first, you want to find yourself a server, like I just done this myself just now. And when you first start, you'll have the option to choose a character. Do you want to be male or female? You click female, or you can also be male, it's whatever you want to be. It does not affect in-game stuff whatsoever. So now you can also ch choose your name. My name is going to be Dark and Claw. I'm going to click confirm and I'll let it load. So now, once you get into now, once you get in, it's going to be a little bit different of a starting scene than what it used to be. So as you can see right here, it says fresh start, continue, and invite. There used to be such a thing as a random outpost that does not exist anymore. Random outpost got removed due to the fact that people were abusing it and constantly spawn killing or just making a death trap. So they did a few other tweaks. So now if you, if you want to click continue, you need to already have had a outpost. So you basically already need to do a fresh start. Now if you want to do it, if you need to click on the invite thing, you need somebody who is on the server to invite you to their cryopod. So let's do a fresh start. Let's let it load here. Sometimes it'll take a little bit to load depending on the server, how many people are on the server, your ping, and a few, quite a few other factors. But now, another cool thing they added as well is in the escape menu. So, one, so say for example you're trying to figure out, okay, what guns are there? Or what does something look like? There is now a menu in the game for all that stuff. So once I load in here, I will be showing you guys first the menu. The glossary, I should say. The glossary is a new feature with 2.0, but it's a nice little feature to have though. Much, much easier than trying to Google every single last piece of information. So as you see right now, it has a little loading icon. Allows you to know when it's actually loading, so you don't think it's a bug. Let me hit escape here. As you see, you have glossary, resume, settings, log out, exit game, and respawn. So let's first go to settings, actually. So right here, you have the high tips. If you want to view all the tips, like the tutorial, you have to click on it so the box is white. If you want your ship to have auto stabilization, which means when you turn it, it will stop itself after without spinning continuously. Then you also make that box white. And you also have all your classic control, your video stuff. And it just set freeze on me. But it has your video stuff and your audio and all the other features you expect the game to have. Like right here, you can also control your V-Sync, your all these different video settings and also I would advise for anybody starting Helion to, to make to turn off bloom and motion blur because those two <clears throat> will kill you especially in warp and when you're trying to do I do different things like move around it will kill you which literally so now let's click on glossary so now we have the you have a tutorial here your basic stuff of basic controls equipment inventory last support power Spacewalking, tutorial, all these different tutorials. So if you need extra help, here you are. So now, you have your equipment. So you see right here, these all different guns. You have the pistols, and you have the am ammunition for the weapons. They have different suit types. You have all the mining drills. You got your utility items. System of parts. It has all the different... Um, parts like the life support systems and RCS and every single thing you need to need to know, like the modules and ships. So let's come up here and let's see what else they have. They just have this. This is, in, this is supposed to be a ship, but I guess it's not working properly. You have the hibernation, all the different modules. So let's, let's look at the lore and history. You have the Ultra Corporation. Let's read this, and this is all the information about the one and only corporation in the game so far. So, let's get moving on how to get started here. So you press F, and you get out of the crowd chamber. It takes a little bit sometimes to get out, because it does a whole animation of you getting out. You can look around when you get out and whatnot. 
So this is not really meant for anything, it just has a picture. So let's first grab this med stick. And um, as you see right here, you have the modules are parked right outside for you. That's another change. It's much easier to do stuff. So let me put this uh, med pack in here. And awesome, there's another one already inside the things. That's even better. So let's come over here and let's uh, let's put on the suit. The suit now is on, will automatically be put on. You press F and just goes right onto you. Instead of trying to press F and going to your hands and all that fun stuff. So let's come over here. Let's press F on the door. Let's come over here. Now we're going to float. So the new setup is for you when you come out of the crew quarters module, which is where you spawn. You have to turn on artificial gravity. So let's come over here. You got also you got a few spare cryo chambers. Let's come over here real quick and grab this medical pack. And let's put this in there. So the uh, press tab, drag into a circle, press F. And another feature I really like that they added in 2.0 is the ability for you to con for you to hold suit parts and you say your actual suit. So you cannot hold actual like suit suit. Like it will not fit in your utility slots. But you can pick up the helmet and jetpack, for example, and they will fit inside your little tool holders. It has a little wrench icon. Let me put these back on the shelf. So what you want to do is you, you, now you want to turn on the capacitor and the solar panels. Those are now coming online, so we should have lights on any minute now. And your life support, you want to turn on your air, genera air generator and your air filter. So, let's come over here. And now, once, once you come outside, you want to first make sure you look behind you. Press J to turn on your jetpack. So it's easier to move in zero gravity. Okay, so the back door is now shut. That's good. Because the only way to get out, you have to blow a hatch. So you want to press H to clean your helmet. Hold shift, so you're like holding onto the wall. Then you want to and after you press F to open that little door, you want to press F on this lever, and it will give you about 2-3 seconds. And then you hear the air rushing out. But as long as you're holding shift, you'll be just fine. So now let's come over here, and this is how you start off with your station. You want to first make sure you dock the airlock. That's the easiest way to conserve resources and make your life a little bit easier getting in and out of the station. Now let's press F on a docking panel. If we can't find a docking panel, look for the areas that are flashing with white strobe lights. So now I'll press R to get to standard dock standing standard docking port A. Uh, use the arrow keys to control it. You want to be very gentle, don't hold them, just do slight movements. Uh, cause you don't, if you hold it down, it goes super, super fast, and it's really hard to control. Now I can, I want to go a little bit faster than I normally do, but you can also change which module you want to dock to. But that will be for a later tutorial, which will be the docking tutorial uh, on how to dock in Helion version 0.2.0. So now let's get over here. You want to make sure you line it up with the little flashing orange, like hexagon. So now, let's get down here, let's line it up, and you see a little thing at the top right that shows you if you're lining up properly. And once you get close enough, it will automatically dock for you. And you just heard the doors just do open right now for you. So that means it's easy to, so it means it's sealed and the door's actually shut. Let's come over here, let's press F on here, and let's click depressurize. But now, while it, de while it is depressurizing, let's come over here to the derelict. So let's take a look on the inside see what they have. Now keep in mind, stuff should be almost identical for every single spawn. So it should not be changing that much from spawn to spawn. Try to keep everything um, universal basically. So you, don't, so, you can't, so you don't just keep randomly spawning until you get something you like. Everything, everything should be the same. But now, let me get these magazines. Okay, let me pick up the ore canister. Let me turn on my light here and let's check inside here. Ooh, yes, even more of these. Perfect. These little resource canisters are meant to refill up to fill up your uh, pack. So you have so you get more oxygen and more fuel, uh, jetpack fuel. Now the warp cell. Okay, let's look on top of these shelves over here. Is there a battery? Yes, there is. Awesome. A battery. And also over here as well, there will be another 
resource canister. Press F on that. And let's go out and let's go to the airlock. Let's go inside here and let's see if there's anything else good inside there. There should be. Because if you, you always want to double check airlock as well. Once you dock it, you want to double check it. So sometimes you might have stuff that you are that you will actually need later on. Let me come over here and click F and I'll click close door and click repressurize. It does take a while though. So if you gotta get in really quick and you're dying, yeah, it, it ain't gonna save you. So if you're you always basically want to be wearing a suit, you never want to run out of oxygen. Should you think you're gonna run out of oxygen, always carry a resource canister. These allow you to fill up your suit while you are in space without having to take it off or replace your jetpack. Press F here. Let's come inside here now. So we see you have another raw resource canister. Open up this. Nothing inside there. Ammo supply is empty and we got three more resource canisters. So I'm gonna leave these alone. I'm gonna head out here to the ship. Oh shoot, wrong one. I hate depressurize. You gotta be careful as well. Um, sometimes you hit the wrong one and you'll never know. Yeah, it's been there a long time. So, and I'm going to speed this up here, and I'm going to get us to where I'm getting to the ship. And then I'll see you guys once we get there. Okay, now we're coming up to the ship here. So, the ship is located behind the outpost. So, you see what angle I'm at. It's located behind it, to an, at an angle. So, now, in order for me to get inside of the ship, I need to come up to the top airlock. And this is the only way in and out at first, and this is the only, um lockable entrance slash exit so let me click depressurize here and now let me show you some stuff on the outside of the ship so your critical components that you don't want people to be removing is your RCS inject utility access would be the um, RCS fuel injector resource injector I should say and in here currently is the engine service compartment Press F here, and this is meant for when the engines actually become usable. Well, I mean, they are usable right now, but they're not really effective. It basically just falls to the wall and can't stop. So now let's come inside here. Is it depressurized? Yes, it is. The ship airlock takes quite a short amount of time to depressurize and repressurize. This is one of the faster ways in and out of the ship. And another feature they added is well on 2.0 is that you're able to press F on this little door control and it will override the pressure. Which is a nice, neat, nice, nifty little feature. Because nothing sucks more than being stuck inside here. So let me press F to override it. And now with override and pressure is now 0.9. Let me press H, take off my helmet, come over here, and you need to first turn on your power. You want to turn on your fusion reactor, your capacitor, and both of your solar panels. There we are. Now we want to come over here and double check your life support it is both online. So now the lights are on, so there we are. Now this spot right here is meant for a sentry gun, which I'll be showing you on later guides. And this stuff over here is a suit rack, more storage for weapons. You can store more weapons over here. This area is meant for pistols. You can store up to four pistols and all this and their ammo on the side on these little doors. And also, nice nifty, nifty little feature is that they added grenades. You have anti-personnel grenades and anti-sentry gun grenades, basically. And here you have all your uh, life support um, air items like your air filters, all the other fun fun stuff. So let's come over here in front. And first off, you want, what you want to do to make sure you're secure is come over to your security terminal. It says commanding officer, you want to click on free, click on your name, with a little person icon with a plus symbol, as in there you are, now you are the commanding officer. You are now able to get through the locked doors without having a lock. So let's change vessel name, so let's change my name to be, let's play darkness. And click confirm. My ship name is now Darkness. It will show up to anybody in our, on the radar contacts as Darkness. So let me show you what I'm referring to. So when you close this door, hit the little red thing and it's now locked. But I can open the door. I can shut this door, but it's still locked. 
so only you and your crew can get through the ship without getting locked in or out of the ship. So real fast, let me show you guys a cargo bay. They reworked the cargo bay so it's now much, much more convenient to put items in it. There's less items now flying to your ship. So as you see right here, you got your drills. And you also have your blue resource canisters. So what you do with these, you take them over here to this little, looks like a can crusher. And it will be the blue container, only works with blue containers. You put it in there. And then once you put it in there, it will go up and basically like grabs a hold of it and it sucks the resources in. And right here, you have the refueling station. It has all your little information on all the resources inside of your ship. Your RCS, your air generator, your engine, all the other critical resources. Now, now I'm done with that thing. Where should I put it? Well, you can put it on any one of these shelves. Well, I mean, yeah, most of these shelves. Some of you can't, some you can't. Some, things, some shelves are only meant for certain items. Like right here, these are not meant for this. These are, these are meant for uh, like trinkets and resource canisters. Let me put it on this shelf, and let me put some resource canisters away. Right there. It's really nice and nifty though, because now you don't have to worry about items falling through your ship. And there's also, sometimes there'll be basketball hoop in here, other times you have to go find it. That's, that's the nice thing they added was a basketball. So you can not only you're warping, you can play basketball. So anyways, let's continue on here. Let me shut all these drawers. And let me shut this. So let's come in here and let's turn, and um, and what you want to do once you get inside your ship, is you want to sit down. And then you want to turn on your FTL drive. And there you have it. That is how you get started in Helion. That's how you get to your ship and turn, that's how you get started and everything else. Um, the next guy you might want to watch is how to warp, and I'll have more guys come up after that as well. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them in the comment section below. I'm always looking at it, and I'll try my best to respond to you. And if you think I missed anything in the video, let me know as well, and I'll see. do my best to correct that. And also, if you have any tips, or if you have any tips as well, it's a good idea to put it down there. So thank you and have a good day.